let me just get to my mark quickly. So I bought a Nissan 350Z GT, Grand Tourer, whatever it's called. Uh, I bought it for six and a half. It was up for 6.8. I bought it for six and a half with 88 miles, 88,000 miles that is. It's silver as you see. It's basically stock. I'm pretty sure it hasn't been touched. There's nothing seriously wrong with it. We checked some rust. It looks good, nothing serious. Uh, the GT option comes with the cruise control, the alloys, which are absolutely messed up, where the previous owner does not know how to park a car. Uh, that's definitely not me. And there's a scratch there somewhere. You'll see it as well. Definitely, I didn't do it. I didn't hit a white wall parking my car. Comes with orange seats, pretty cool. Never had orange seats. That's one up for me, because Kaz never had orange seats on his black BMW. 270 horsepower or 269 horsepower. I don't think it's putting 269 horsepower right now. So to be honest, it's probably pushing 200 horsepower. Bodywork though is actually really nice, apart from the scratch there, which someone else did and not me. The headlights are kind of messed up. As you can see, they're kind of foggy. And yeah, I love this car. I'm super happy with it. Oh, let me tell you some technical part. It's a V6 engine, 3.5 liters, drinks like an actual alcoholic. Um, what else? It's got four tires, <laughs> two different brands. Yeah, I love it. Came from Fast and Furious. That's one of my biggest reasons for buying it. I said forget about it, cuz. I have plans for it. Hopefully I can achieve them. Speak of the devil. Kazim's coming with his new whip. A bit squeaky, isn't it? It's a bit squeaky. It's making a lot of sound it shouldn't make. As always, he bought the wrong car. <laughs> uh, what you have over here is a Mazda MX-5 1.8 litre VVT, 2003, 75,000 miles on it. It comes in this stunning silver of sorts. Black interior, leather trim, heated seats, aircon, optional. It, that option wasn't ticked on this car. <laughs> <laughs> One thing Garciano is super, super jealous of is the fact that it has Jap alloys. It's so embarrassing because I don't know what the actual name of it is, but it's sick. And it has Toyo tires all the way from Japan, yeah? It got shipped all yeah. the way to this dead country, yeah. yeah, from an amazing country. The brake calipers look good. They work. They work. Uh, about that. The pads, they have some life in them. Okay, okay. Headlights, a little bit hazy. Uh, I'm, it happens. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. You can't have this on the UK roads. Uh, Buffy Racing sell it, so uh, it can't be illegal. I will right? report you to the police for that. So uh, that is 100% legal. My girlfriend ruined it for me though, because she said it, it looks like Glow Kid, and now I can't stop saying Glow Kid, and it's, I probably shouldn't have said it because now everyone's going to say yeah, it. That's it, Glow Kid. It's got this little drooping <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> Because uh, obviously this car is race spec, it's ready for the track, don't need to do anything to it. And guys, what can I say? It comes with a soft top, which I won't show you right now. And it also comes with a color matching silver hard top as well for when I store this car in the winter because a vintage item, unlike this Godzilla Donkey Kong DK, Godzilla. whatever DK stands for. I'm super happy about this because I don't care what any of you have to say, if the engine blows up, it's 300 pounds. If the gearbox blows up, about 400 pounds. Am I missing anything? Uh, you're missing the seats and how, how small the cabin is. You're missing that part. That's a very important part. So here's the thing, yeah. His car is twice the size of mine and has the same number of seats. Who's okay. winning? Huh? Who's winning? Listen, I've got tan seats. You've got black seats. I've got heated seats. You don't have heated seats. Look. I Wait, you don't have heated seats, do you? I don't have heated seats. Oh, they are marginally heated. You barely feel it, but it's definitely there. <laughs> so what's the horsepower? Uh, so we've got 144 bhp. From new, from new. From new, still feels like it's 144 to be absolutely honest with you. Look, both our cars has some things wrong with it, but we're not gonna cover that in this video. This is an introduction to the video. One thing I'll say out of this car, okay, straight away, is that it has aged extremely well. Oh yeah. Like, like it For really, sure. really has. Like, For sure. It's aged very well, but there is some things I'm picking up 
and I really don't like. Mm -hmm. It's too high up. I'm not, I'm not a slammed kind of guy, but it is way too high up. Yours is way too low. So here's the thing. This is actually my daily at the moment, okay? And for the foreseeable future, I, it's gonna be my daily for at least a few months, okay? I finally learned, I've had it for two weeks. I finally learned how to like drive it, how to drive over certain types of bumps and whatever else, potholes. <laughs> <laughs> You know when it's raining and you see like puddles? In a normal car, it's a puddle, right? You, you avoid yeah. the puddle. In this car, it looks like a swimming pool. It looks like an ocean. Yeah, yeah. So you have to like dodge the ocean. When I was driving it for the first week, I was just crashing and slamming into absolutely every single thing on the road because I just didn't know how to drive it. I didn't know what is going to cause the car to bottom out. But I, I, I want to raise it for practicality purposes, but, but it just looks, it looks so, so good. fucking good. Also, what, I've been in this car with him. So much attention. It's, it, there, there is attention. Also, there's a lot of scraping. I'm 113 kilos. Yeah. So if he takes any any right corners, it usually scrapes from my weight, which is a bit of like a, a reality check. Like you need to lose some weight. It's it's actually good for you. you see, cars do good for people. You see? How much is that? Six and a half. Three thousand pounds. 100 more horsepower. Yeah, but it's like what 600 kg lighter? Huh? 600 horsepower, steering wheel, 10 out of 10. It doesn't 10. have 600 horsepower, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, I mean, I mean, 600 kilos more than you, but it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel heavy. I'll so give you've you that. got about, on paper, like 130 BHP more than me. On paper. But you're 600 kg heavier. Yes, and also Plus from new, driver, I'm, I want to clarify, from new, I don't know if this is pushing 269. I think it's pushing 220. Mm. I, I, honestly, I'm being generous here, it's pushing 220. So this one comes with three engine types. They're the same engine, just slightly modified. So I bought the DE version, because there's an engine that's bigger than better than this, called the HR. Come 300 horsepower. I bought the Brokey. Yeah, it's, I basically, it's 30 BHP more. It, I could tell, it's, it's probably different. And it looks better. You're not going to feel 30. Anyways, I think if, if you had the money, you save a bit more and buy the HR, because I think the HR itself is a really, really good engine. But yeah, 279 horsepower, 269 horsepower, 140 horsepower. In a drag race, I'll beat you. In the corners, I'll beat you. Drifting, I'll beat you. These cars are known for drifting. Okay, they're known. Yeah, but you're for driving it. I'm driving. I'm a. By the way, you're hearing all of this, yeah. We are going to take these cars to the track eventually. We're going to track them in their stock form. We're going to track them when we do the things that we want to do to them. What, what, like, with me, I, I let I let the actual track day do the talking. All right, all right. So, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I say let the let the car park talk for us. I'll rip you apart right here. There's so many cars in the background. <laughs> There's one Prius. Why is it a Prius? <laughs> but guys, look, that's a quick intro. Look, my thoughts in your car. I love it. I think it's aged well. Yes. To me, it it's, it looks very, very bulky, very, very heavy. Absolutely agree. Uh, it looks it, nice. In this, you're going to love to drive it. Yeah. Because the clutch, the gearbox, the gearbox, the, the, the actual shifter, like, it's so soft. It just clicks into place. Yeah. It's I will, I will, effortless. I will say the gearbox in this isn't as... It's heavy as hell, isn't it? It's heavy. Yeah. And the steering wheel is so. very heavy. But I will say this. You I love must the have like, the, like the most muscle. I've got a veiny <laughs> left foot, man. Uh, I love this car right now. I've driven it for about three months. Everything about it, I love. The only thing I want is spacers. It's super, the wheels are just, they look so bad in rims. But other yeah. than that, if I was to, if I had to keep it stuck, if I had to keep it stuck, I'm happy with this car. It's amazing. I love yeah. the way it looks. And joking aside, I really love the MX-5. I was thinking about an MX-5. Too big for you. Too small for you. Too small. But I love this MX-5 specifically. I love the wheels. I love the little touches he's done. I personally wouldn't, would change the color. Personally, I think it would look maybe a bit different. Unfortunately, in the UK, we have to get the- ULES compliant cars. ULES compliant. This so is this only... is a 2003 and it's a 1.8. And here's the thing that annoys me. We're recording in May. A couple of months ago, I think this car was like 190 pounds on road tax. Yeah. And now it's gone up to 390. It's only going to go one way, right? That's annoying. The other thing is, it doesn't make sense, by the way. How are you paying 390? I'm paying three... You're paying the same as me, I think. Yeah, no, I'm paying 350. Oh, there you go. Like, how does I that make sense? 3.5 liter. What 1. year? 8. Uh, 2005, 2005. So you're two years newer. It's a 3.5 liter, and it makes no sense. And the other thing is, with you, Les, Sadiq Khan... Scumbag. Let me just... Let's learn. The, the, I have to mute every single thing that comes out of my mouth, so there's no point. With this car, it's a 2003. To the best of my knowledge, it's 2001 and above. That's currently, currently you that's compliant. It might be 2002 and above. I'm not too sure. So I'm scared. I'm worried. Like, I might, I might, I might, might not be able to drive it. this yeah. in London yeah. in a couple of years. Like, I have no idea. Joking aside, Kaz was actually looking. He was being stupid with his money once. He was thinking about a Supra. I mean, seriously, thinking about an NA Supra for like 18K. 
something like that, 19K. Unfortunately, it's not ULS compliant, so you can't have it. Only the rich can afford the ULS, uh, the, the Supras. Yeah. Anyways. But look, we've done a bit of an overview. Now, wait, I'm gonna steal the camera. Wait, 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 wait. Before that, should we check the interiors? All right, follow me inside my car. I'll show you what it looks like inside. So, interior is nothing special. Uh, it's aged pretty bad compared to the outside of the car. The car outside looks a lot better from the inside. Manual gearbox, of course, I had to go for a manual. If you buy an automatic Nissan 350Z, you're kind of a weirdo. Got a cassette tape, which I've, I had to buy some cassette tapes. Um, which one was this again? Um, it's got some tan seats. I think the seats are actually really nice. They held up pretty well. Um, this is a sat nav navigation system from 2005. So you can, you can imagine it's useless completely. And also it's got a few uh, speakers wrapped around the back of my, of my seat. It's got the GT option, so it comes with... What's that? You can't... Oh, it's electric. It's electric. Oh, yeah, yeah. How it's also electric. It's also electric. <laughs> that is not a bonus. That's all I'm saying. That's electric. 20 Come years on. later. One speaker. It's got some storage here. Um, it's also got a massive speaker here, a subwoofer right here. But I, can't, I can't be asked to show you. I'll show you guys in a bit in the after shots. Um, hold on. Give me a minute, please. It's, uh, nice hoodie, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. I love it. Look at that. It's got our brand on it. I love our logo as well. Guys, if you want us to introduce these, anyone interested, you need to type it in the comment. Just Otherwise, we have no idea if anyone's interested in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is meant to be automatic. Obviously, it's not. It's uh, It does that. Uh, I do love this thing, though. Look at the dials. Absolutely useless information. Oil pressure, uh, battery voltage for some reason, and it's got a little digital dial here. I don't really care about interiors in cars. Personally, I really don't. Um, a car's a car at the end of the day. I don't give a crap what happens inside. I really care about the outside of the car. And obviously maybe the steering wheel. I really hate the steering wheel. It is what it is. It's got cruise control. It's got all the cruise buttons. Um, it's a pretty ugly steering wheel and I won't wrap it in fake carbon like Kaz did on his M2. Um, the yeah. dials... <laughs> you can't afford fake carbon. <laughs> the, the dials, I love this. It's just the RPMs right in the middle, revs up to six and a half. It's under there. Well, here is where the heart of the, end of the, of the car is, yeah? It's a bit hot, hold on. So this is the VQ something something DE. Uh, V6, 3.5 liters, 269 horsepower. Condition-wise, I think it's fine. Um, yeah, so it's a bit, it's a bit, it looks a bit beaten. Not a very good looking engine, if I'm honest. That plenum is the ugliest plenum in the Just world. a bit of polish. And secondly, we're gonna get onto my car in a second, but this is world renowned for being a horrendous car to work on. Are you serious? Horrendous. So it's good for the channel because we've got a horrible car to work on, and then we've got a piss easy right, car to right. work listen, on. Listen, listen, listen. I bet every screw on your car is a different size. I hope <laughs> it is. I hope it is. It looks easy to work on. Look how easy it looks. It's got air filter here, a brace bar. What right. else do you need? Uh, it comes with 18 inch uh, GT alloys is what they, what they called it. Um, this the only, you can only get these with the GT spec, which this one is. Um, they look absolutely beaten. They've been abused. Uh, Brembo's though. It's got Brembo brakes, that's pretty good, right? They don't really work as good though. The side profile of your car, I must say, that's the part that's really aged well. It has, I'll show you something at the back. So, first of all, again, like I said, this needs spaces. It's, it's too deep inside the car, inside the fenders, too deep. Um, if you come here, Kaz, one little problem I have, or two little problems I have. Okay. From the back, I don't, I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. First of all, I don't know what this is. The previous owner put a diffuser, I guess, but it looks all wonky and all wrong. Also, the spoiler over here is pretty, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Apart from that, though, it does look good. It feels like it should be a mid-engine car. Don't and you've got a good amount of space in your boot. Uh, well, I don't know about that. So basically- In comparison to mine, you have like, <laughs> I mean, you got a bunch of stuff in there, but like- Yeah, but you can't put, literally you can't put any boxes mm -hmm. here, any, anything, because it will just, it will hit, hit the glass. Hit, hit, yeah. You can put maybe a box there, two boxes there on that. Like, cause your car's built to put golf clubs in it. Like mine isn't obviously. <laughs> what? 
It's like it's really hard. You can so easily put golf well, clubs in this car. You cannot put golf clubs. You find me 8,000 pound golf clubs that can fit in this. You won't, okay? <laughs> okay? All right, so, guys, let's uh, move into. Let's move over to this car. So, firstly, it's actually a real JDM, unlike his, because the number plate is where the Europeans put it. Uh, whereas my one is off the side in JAP format, uh, which is really, really cool. So, I don't have to spend money on doing that, which is nice. The other one is when I eventually spin out at a racetrack because it has ridiculous amounts of power, uh, I can be towed away whilst going there. Uh, <laughs> Kaz, I just noticed a few. Uh... Oh, hey, we'll, that we'll looks kind of we'll, nice. We'll get onto that another day, all right? But if you'd like to come around, so this car is race and drift spec ready, yeah? It's got pop-up, these little things where you like, you push it in and your whole bumper comes out. So, you know, I can take that out instantly, no bolts. Uh, tires, as we said, Toyo tires. I'm definitely gonna get white sticker, um, no, you're not. white stickers on the tire. Only because Graciano's always wanted it and I wanna get it first to piss him off. And then we've got, uh, I, I forgot the name guys, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna attempt. Yeah, we've got uh, deep dish alloys. Uh, which I would have always wanted. And I love the black on chrome accent. It really, really suits the car. Because your brakes look a bit faded. So the brakes are actually good, uh, but the pads are towards uh, end of life. Now this car comes with a soft top. The soft top is hidden behind this extremely expensive leather material. Oh, really expensive, and yeah. We also have a silver color matching hard top as well. Maybe I'll show you guys some pictures. Got a wind deflector, which works because it goes down and you can put it up. It's just instantly, do you know what I'm saying? It's a bit. It's a bit... Nah, no, that is solid. It's a bit beaten. What part of that is beaten? It's abused, man. Just Should a reminder that this car is literally 20 years old on the dock. It's got chrome racing yeah. style petrol filler cap. What the hell um, happened there? Some bird probably pewed on it and no one cleaned it and it just it disintegrated, which we'll fix. Coming over here now, this is a story in and of itself. I've had this car for two weeks. If I get footage by the time I release this video, I'll definitely show you. But some extremely intelligent person decided to rear end myself. I was doing a three point turn on the road legally. He came out of a drive and reversed into me. I literally stood still. I blew on the horn because I know this idiot is literally continuing to reverse into me. And although I'm blowing the horn, I'm just stationed in the road. He just continues to reverse into me and goes bush. Uh, he drives an awful GLE. He has literally no Horrible hair. Cars. Horrible cars. Everyone that drives the GLE is a bad driver. He has little to no hair left. He's got a beer belly. Probably has never had sex with his wife in the last two to three years. So he has more money than sense. Let's put it that way. And he genuinely thought I am 100% in the wrong and therefore I can go suck my own mum, apparently. Yeah, that was fun. Touch but but here's a nice thing. Tail light, 30 pounds. Uh, Rear bumper, to find a better conditioned one, might be like 60 pounds, something like that. Or I could fix it myself, which I'm probably going to. I'm gonna show you the ridiculous amount of boot space. Do you hear that nice? It's, yeah. like, a, it's like a very it's a bit nice metallic, you know? Look, look at this. So. Wait, what the hell is this? First things first, first things first, yeah. Petroholic cities. There is none in the market. We literally have the only two that exist on this planet. Um, very, very nice material. It's actually the standard material. We also have a premium one as well. We haven't launched it. We haven't, we're not gonna launch it until you guys tell us to. Um, Anyways, the other the thing, so this car has a spare tire and I have it, but I've removed it so far. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with it, but long story short, I'm gonna create more space in the boot. Again, silver all round. Uh, it does have an exhaust. I don't know what exhaust it is, but it actually sounds really, really good. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do too much in the exhaust department. Um, honestly, I'm super happy about it. Um, come around to the interior. Here. I don't have to sit in my car to show you the interior because it's very easy for you to see the interior. Uh, black leather, heated seats, six speed gearbox, automatic uh, uh, windows, Emmanuel functioned gearbox and Emmanuel functioned 
Soft top as well. It's got a horn. It's got it, a horn. It revs, it red lines at like seven, like the red rev limiter is about 7,500. And I hit it every single day from cold since I've owned it. And nothing is wrong with the car. Uh, if the engine blows up, it's 300 pounds. Can I open those doors for me, please? Look how tiny they are. What do you mean? <laughs> and the other thing is, you can't do this in your car, yeah? But pretend like someone's, a chav is chasing you because yeah. he wants to 50p off you and okay. he's gonna, he's willing to kill you for 50p. Okay, let's you see just, it. Oh. Wow. S instantly. Wow, I'm impressed, and I'm impressed. pretend your door mechanism stops working. All right, cool. If it's like this, if it's one of those days. Ugh. Thank you, thank you. That's, that's, that's what I it is. I do like that, I'm not gonna lie. It has a, a Sony stereo, I don't know if you've seen it. It has, it's Sony, man. Yeah, it's, Sony's good. <laughs> Sony's good. Bluetooth. Um, I don't have Bluetooth. I forgot to say that. So much storage. You got storage here. You got storage you here. You're not storing anything there. Look at, look at all the storage. You got storage there. You got storage. Put this back. You're struggling. Yeah. In and around these seats, you can put anything anywhere. Well, you put an A4 piece of paper. Cup holder, which doesn't stop me from shifting gears. This cup holder doesn't stop me from shifting gears either. Uh, more storage there. More storage here. And I can lock these because they're convertible. They're not gonna hotwire my car or anything. <laughs> the only thing is if I go to a rough area, I think I'm just gonna disconnect the battery if I wanna leave it like this. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm itching to tell you all the things that's wrong with it and we're gonna fix on it, but that's for the next video. I have to stay patient. Uh, it's got window wipers, automatic. Well, uh, <laughs> you're not manually putting your hand out. <laughs> Guys, what is there to talk about? Let me show you the engine as a, as a last part of the, of the car. Uh, everything has like a nice, click or bang or yeah, dang yeah, yeah. to this car, you know? So, the previous owner has installed a k and air filter for us. Fantastic, and I have to do it myself. It's got coolant in it, it's got brake fluids, it's got clutch fluids, it's got windscreen washer fluids, it's got power steering fluid. It's got all the fluids that you need in an engine and, and engine fluid as well. Again, I'm not gonna to talk to you what's wrong or right about this car, but it's a 1.8, 144 BHP. I, honestly, I reckon it's running 140. Uh, it, it, the car is very, very healthy in that department. Yeah, 1.8 VVT, so it's the engine that you want if you want to potentially turbo or supercharge your car. <coughs> what also, isn't there to love? a lot of space and a lot of rust. So, yeah, so getting onto the point, his car, extremely difficult Jap car to work on. Probably one of the worst cars to work on. <laughs> to give you an example, the valve cover on this car, to replace the valve cover in a situation that you need to, I think you need to replace it, like, around 90,000 miles on this car. If you were to do that on that car, I think Nissan will quote you, what is it, like 1.5K, something like yeah. that, because it's like a it's like Just, a full day job, yeah. basically. With this with this car, this is the valve cover. <laughs> you unscrew a couple of bolts and it's out, done. Change the gasket, Nah, over. nah, there's something wrong. I, I know there'll be something wrong. Um, you don't have the right screws for it. It's got something You need random. to remove the radiator, okay. <laughs> out. Out. <laughs> Air intake. <laughs> out. Done, next. It's just, you wanna pull the engine out? Okay, cool, let me just remove this coolant hose <laughs> <laughs> and like extract the engine. Um, yeah, guys, it's just, in my opinion, I love your car, don't get me wrong, but if my engine blows up, a, a good used one's at like 300 pounds. Yeah, but my engine won't blow up, yeah. right? Uh, I'm not gonna jinx it, but this is my car, this is my MX-5. I really hope you guys love these cars because I feel like we bought the right cars because as I said, more expensive, a little bit more luxury, more powerful, but heavier, harder to work on, parts are more expensive. A lot of fun, lightweight, nimble, very, very soft clutch and gearbox. You just want to rev it out and hit the rev limiter every single day because it's never going to break down. Parts are a lot cheaper and it's easier to work on. So for the sake of the channel, we bought two of the most perfect cars, honestly. But yeah, guys, look, uh, these are the project cars. We just wanted to introduce them in this video. In the next video, we're gonna have an opportunity to give our first impressions driving Graciano's car and our first impressions driving my car. And in the subsequent videos, we're gonna do a video on every single thing that's wrong with it and that I wanna do to the car. Graciano's gonna do the same thing for his car. And then we're gonna start to roll on like the actual series of the MX-5 and the things that we're doing to it. We're just gonna service the cars, we're gonna modify the cars cosmetically, performance related. And before we do the performance mods on both cars, we're gonna take them to track days, we're gonna do some cool comparisons and it's just gonna be an amazing series for the channel. So if you're not subscribed, I think something like 90% of people that view our videos are not subscribed. Please smash that subscribe button. 
hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we're about to introduce these videos and you can keep up to date with the series. Uh, and also, don't forget to hit the like button as well if you're enjoying these videos. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.